Aloha from the Polynesian Resort. I'm in the Morea building and I got the best room. I'm so excited to show this to you. Watch this. Okay, so the room number is 3026. It's just down the hallway from the elevators. Very, very nice. Top floor. I'm gonna use my magic pen to open the door. Here we go. Opening the door to my room and it is phenomenal. They've done a refresh. This is a hallway, this is a studio, this is a lake view. Um, and it's phenomenal. They've done this really nice refresh. It's very interesting, a little different than before. The pops of color uh, with the oranges and stuff like that, they're still here, but they're very muted and tamed down by like the blues and the browns that they've now brought like the colors of the sea into. But here we go. So we have an adjoining room, which uh, nobody's going to be adjoining with us, but the up down mirror, hello. Okay, and then we turn. And then we have one of two different bathrooms in these studio. Polynesian is unlike any other resort where you get two bathrooms. So it's super stunning. You get this artwork on the wall. There I am again with a lighted mirror on each side. And then we have our sink, one bay, um, garbage can drawers that I do believe open. Yep, sure do. Store your gear, store your stuff. Little cubbies. This is a bathtub with shower, um, you know, standard fare with the arcing bar at the top. And then the inlay tile, which is super cute. And then a simple shower head up there. Okay. Um, you have your standard locked into the wall product now that they started doing everywhere. Towels, this is your toilet. Um, and then, you know, a couple hooks on the wall with a little bit more artwork over there. I don't know if you saw those cute little sea maidens mermaids if you will okay turning it around and i've got my little birds over here they're super cute and then i turn and i've got this closet space with an open safe luggage rack the ever useful by somebody else but never by me uh, ironing board iron the laundry basket i will make use of that here um extra pillow and blanket okay and then your lovely hangers Closing that up, close that back up. Nice, thick, sturdy doors here, like really amazing. Then we have our fridge. So this is like our little kitchenette area. We have a microwave, we have above storage and to the side. Now I wonder if it's stocked. There's nothing stocked up there, but oftentimes these DVC villas come stocked, yes. So you're getting uh, paper towels, you're getting cups, you're getting plasticware, you're getting bowls and plates all individually wrapped. And then if you want more of anything, you can look at this side and it will tell you uh, more about. Okay, so backsplash. Looks like it's now been wallpapered. I think they wallpapered this. Um, you got your can opener, dish soap, and a sponge. This is your sink for washing and doing any kind of cooking you may want to do. You get a toaster, the coffee maker. This is actually really good coffee, believe it or not. Um, I have really been enjoying this on my trip. This 50th uh, celebration with the Joffreys is kind of like, woot woot. Okay, so then here and underneath, I believe would probably just be like another garbage can. And there's two, the recycling and the regular trash. Okay, now the piece de resistance, the other bathroom. This is the one with the uh, shower with all the inlaid tile and stone. It's got the rainfall shower head and the one on the wall affixed. And then you have the steps, which are so nice, like spa status. Check this out. You've got your seat, like I'm just gonna chill here in my shower. Definitely two people could be in here. Not suggesting that you need to do that uh, if that's not your vibe, but if it is your vibe, well, there you go. And there's more of the product built into the wall but I absolutely love this double shower. So two bathrooms, people can be getting ready simultaneously. And then of course there's the mirror. Aloha, it's me again. And I'm going to Magic Kingdom today. And today is, oh, and I love these inlaid um, lighted mirrors. They're just lovely. I use them all the time as I travel. Uh, and I'm going to Magic Kingdom today and I get the double drawer pullouts because it is New Year's Eve Eve if that makes any sense whatsoever. New Year's Eve Eve, and they do um, a preliminary fireworks show in advance of the actual New Year's fire show. Check this out. Crown molding, if you will. Well, sort of. 
like an inset in the roof. You've got the pot lights up above. One of them is already on. This is the bed that just is regularly hanging, doing its thing. New couch, very nice. New artwork, this is going to pull down into another bed, I believe, um, because it looks like it's a pull down, so I'm gonna have to check that out. Uh, I'm gonna be really interested to see how this works. And you bet your bottom dollar. This is fee frickin' nominal. It's not pulling out of the couch, it's pulling out of the wall. So now we're at Murphy bed status with an attached, hold on, using my arm strength, rawr. Using my arm strength. Um, beautiful artwork. Look, there's Stitch. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Isn't that amazing? And Serpent looks like Lilo surfing on the waves. Oh my gosh, I can't get over that. So this couch is attached and it's not pulling out of the couch. It's pulling down from the wall. Phenomenal. Here are those orange from before. They still have the sconce lamps, um, which is really cool. Uh, still got those sconce lamps going. So just to remind you of days of yore, <laughs> we got um, down here, we have a uh, a little spot for you to charge things, a little charging station. And then, of course, a little drawer. Now, if we look around, we'll probably find something placed by the Gideons, whoever they are. Uh, you know, they always place things. Love the bed. Super simple. Kind of low down, um, honestly. So you're not, like, popping yourself high up. And just another one of the same on each side. You get another with a little charging station. Here's that red and orange from, like I said, Days of Yore, where um, the theming here was more uh, pops of color. Now it's a little bit more muted, more sea vibe. Check out this carpet. Isn't it nice? I don't know if there's any hidden Mickeys here. I don't know if I see any. I don't know that I do. Anyway, I'm going to take a picture of that. That's cute. And then of course there is the TV. Watch myself some TV. And a pull down bed. Check this out. Oh, lovely. And right there we've got more stitch. Oh, he is like super chilling right there. He is chilling like a villain, but he's not a villain. He's a good guy. And get some lights here for your kids. You have a little light on the inside. And then somebody small or medium size can fit in this second pull down bed. This actually is for five people uh, easily, easily bedding five people. Uh, one, two, three single, and then the four, five on the Murphy that come down off of the wall, which is a phenomenal new arrangement. Got to gotta say kudos and props to them for that new chairs check it out very awesome we've got our mr polynesian man we love mr polynesian man he is super cute and we got another mirror just in case we want to keep looking at ourselves and then here comes more pièces de résistance you thought there was one piece de résistance there will be deux pièces de résistance the view this is the lake view. This is the coveted. This is the third floor overlooking the bungalows. Straight shot of Magic Kingdom right there. Space Mountain, bungalows, fairies on its way. Tron's being built back there. And so, yeah, totally freaking amazing. What's better is tonight, if I will record this, um, you get piped in orchestration and sound. Here goes the most recent ferry that's ferrying people to Magic Kingdom, which is just over there on the other side of that little island in the middle of Seven Seas Lagoon. However, long story short, you get piped in music and the fireworks all across the sky. So I'm gonna go out just one swell tick. Let's see if I can get out of here. Turn it, open it, cruise on out.